Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome to today's video. So the last video we looked on was the synthesis of purines and now we're going to look on the synthesis of pyrimidines. Now as we've seen before, the pyrimidines are cytosine, uracil and thymine. Alright, so we're going to begin with the de novo pathway. In the de novo pathway, we start with carbon dioxide and glutamine and this requires two ATP molecules to make carbamyl phosphate and this occurs in the presence of an enzyme and this enzyme's name is carbamyl phosphate synthase 2. Alright, so after this reaction, aspartate donates an aspartate group to form carbamyl aspartate. And then this is involved in the formation of diidioartate. And this is by the removal of water. So this diidioartate undergoes an oxidation reaction using NAD+, and this creates orotate. So this orotate, as we can see in the purine, right, we also use PRPP and IMP. In the pyrimidine process, we use orotate and also PRPP. This forms OMP. So this OMP is used to form both UMP for uracil, right, and CMP for cytosine. All right, so the first reaction is that OMP loses a carbon dioxide group to form uridylate or UMP. In the presence of two ATP molecule, there is phosphorylation, right? And this forms the UTP. So one ATP to convert from UMP to UDP and then another ATP molecule to convert it to UTP. Once we form this UTP, cytidine synthase comes along and it makes CMP. Now let's focus on the pyrimidine synthesis. So in the pyrimidine synthesis, we have UMP, which can either go to form DTMP or CTP. In CTP, it requires glutamine and CTP synthase. And when you're forming DTMPs, you need tamidylate synthase. All right, so let's look on a disease application. So this disease is called hereditary oratic aciduria. And in patients with this disease, they usually have severe anemia. There is also growth retardation, and there is an increase in the oratic acid that is excreted. And this is largely due to a buildup of orotate, right? So orotate can increase if there's defect in orotate phosphoribosyl transferase or there's a defect in orotidine decarboxylase. These two enzymes are important in the formation of OMP, right? So orotate is converted to OMP and then from OMP to UTP and CTP, right? So if there's defect in the formation of OMP, this will also affect CTP and UTP, right? For treatment, we usually give uridine and this uridine will enable the formation of UTP and hence CTP. All right, let's talk about the salvage pathway. All right, so the salvage pathway was also in the synthesis of purines. However, for pyrimidines, while it's present, only a few nucleotides go through this pathway. So the pyrimidine, right, and PRPP, similarly to what we've seen with the purines, forms pyrimidine nucleotide. And this is in the presence of pyrimidine phosphoribosyl transferase. All right, so let's look on the formation of the DNTPs. So ribonucleotides are converted to deoxyribonucleotides, and this occurs in two steps. 
First, the ribonucleotides are converted to their deoxyribonucleotides through ribonucleotide reductase. In the second step, these deoxyribonucleotides are phosphorylated and this requires a diphosphate kinase enzyme. Alright, so now let's look on the formation of TMPs. So earlier on, we saw the formation of OMP, then UMP, and then CMPs, right? Now we're going to look on the formation of TMPs, which requires deoxyribonucleotides. So we start off with D, UMP, and then this becomes DTMP. It requires N-methyl tetrahydrofoliate to donate a methyl group and form dihydrofoliate and an enzyme tamidylate synthase. So once this dihydrofoliate is formed, it can regenerate itself into tetrahydrofoliate. And it does this by using an enzyme called dihydrofoliate reductase. All right, so the final step that we're going to look on today is the degradation of our pyrimidine. So we have CMP, which is converted to cytidine, and this requires a nucleotidase enzyme. Once we have cytidine, this is converted to uridine by deamination. Uridine is then converted to uracil, and this requires a phosphorylase enzyme. Once we have uracil, this forms aniline along with ammonia and carbon dioxide. Now, aniline can then make acetyl-CoA, and acetyl-CoA is important for the citric acid cycle. All right, so let's finish up with the degradation of TMPs. So TMPs undergoes a similar reaction to the UMP. All right, so what happens is that the TMP is converted to timidine, and this also requires a nucleotidase enzyme. Once we form timine, timine is converted to another molecule, which is very important. This is called beta-amino isobutyric acid. So during this process, ammonia and carbon dioxide is also formed. This molecule is converted to succinyl-CoA, which is also used in the citric acid cycle. Now, beta-amino isobutyric acid, it's excreted in the urine, and it therefore can be a marker for the breakdown of TMPs. In cancer patient, undergoing chemotherapy or radiation, there is usually a high level of beta-amino isobutyric acid in their urine. All right, guys, so thank you very much for listening to this video on the synthesis and degradation of pyrimidines and also a disease application. Thanks for watching. See you next time.